Next. Two Tampa families are demanding answers exactly one year after two men were shot and killed outside of a Southeast Seminole Heights home. Police say Ernest Fisher Jr. and Jabari Herndon were gunned down while hanging out on a porch. Tampa police say there are still no arrests. ABC Action News reporter Mason Morrow spoke to both families and has their pleas for someone to come forward. I visit all the time. Gwendolyn Fisher's Friday visit to her son's gravestone carried an entire year of wait. Yet waiting is all she knows. It's hard. No answers. One year ago Friday night, Ernest Fisher Jr. and Jabari Herndon were shot and killed on the porch of a house near 12th and Palafox in southeast Seminole Heights. Sons, brothers, fathers taken from their loved ones. He was the first person I called every day. I miss him so much. Even when his heart stopped, he's still living within me. He's still with me. Herndon's younger sister, Jada Parker, tells ABC Action News she's cried enough tears over the past year. My daughter, she see me crying. You OK, Mommy? I wipe your eyes. I wipe your eyes. On the anniversary of her brother's death, her grief is outmatched by her anger. Come forward now. There's still no arrests in the case in which two were killed and four more were injured. Police tell ABC Action News detectives continue their investigation. I want justice. I want to know who done it to my son. Fisher believes someone out there knows what she doesn't. Parker says those who saw something are staying silent. But these families don't have time for others' fears. It always changes when someone's in issues. When someone is in this exact same instance, that's when it changes. But somebody has to break the cycle. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Mason Morrow, ABC Action News.